Welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. This is the Roblox Jailbreak Pistol, but I made it a little bit better. I now call it El Zorro, which basically translates to the fox in Spanish, and it is a cool little sidearm that shoots half-length darts pretty hard. Before, this blaster was shooting about mid-60s, but now it seems to be getting low 70s to mid-70s. I don't have the exact numbers because I don't really have a chronograph and my chrono barrel is kind of all over the place when you try and use it with half-length darts, but I can tell that it's about somewhere in the middle there. It's shooting quite a bit harder now, especially if you put half-length darts in it instead of full-length darts. You get a lot more power out of this same spring that I would have been using before. If I actually demonstrate that, you can take a single half-length dart and kind of just ramrod it down the barrel, prime it, and shoot it once. That's basically all it does. I didn't change the actual function of the blaster because I actually really liked the way this blaster worked before. I love hammer action blasters, and this being basically a hammer action jolt was actually a really good idea for an emergency pistol. Besides, you can flip it infinitely, and that is way too much fun to do with it, and I honestly really love this blaster now because of it. Let's take a look at the design and see what I did with it. The design of this blaster is identical to what it was before, but now I painted the whole thing red and then added black details with a sharpie marker, including all over the grip, this was a titanic pain in the ass, on the bottom of the grip, bottom of the trigger guard, on the back of the hammer prime, the El Zorro logo, and the cross, as well as filling in these two black boxes in the front just because they look kind of like vents and I thought that they could use a little bit of extra texturing. And honestly, I really like the way this thing looks now. Even though the grip is still just as painfully small as it was before, it just seems like it's a little bit more fitting now because of all the extra detail that I crammed in. I can't stop doing this. Please somebody help me. Really quickly, just before I do the firing demo, I also took the little iron sight thing off just so that I could slip it into a holster a little bit easier. I'm going to be firing six shots, so you guys get to see that. Oh, I cannot prime it all the way because it's a hammer action. I'm gonna do an extra shot just because I don't really count that one. One last thing that I also did to this blaster was I added a little bit of extra lubricant to the internals, which now makes the trigger pull somehow even smoother and more satisfying than before, and the hammer prime feels so good now. I love using this blaster, even though it's not the most practical thing in the world and the grip is a little bit too small. I honestly really love this little pistol now. It's quickly become one of my favorite little sidearms to use, even if it's just an emergency pistol. I will be carrying this at pretty much every game that I go to. It shoots hard enough to justify being used in something like HVZ, but it's not overpowered to where it's like it's shooting like 130 FPS and it's like a pain in the ass to prime. It's satisfying to use, it's efficient, it's more practical, and it works with half-length darts. Overall, I'd say that's a win in my book. Thanks for watching. Bye!